Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Here we are on this uh, piston token, a Binance Smart Chain token, built on best in class decentralized technology. Piston was designed to run an ecosystem, earn rewards by depositing your token in the Piston Race dashboard app. And as you can see, this video uh, is on the 28th of March so you may have time to get into this pre-sale where it looks like you're gonna get a 15% discount right how to participate in the MD2 V2 pre-sale now you can claim your tokens after public launch um, piston token the token to run the ecosystem, fully tradable and available to everyone, built on the Binance Smart Chain. Total supply, 1 million piston. 10% tax on buy, exchange only. 10% tax on sell. Buy, sell fees, 1% burn, 2% to liquidity, pancake swap. 3% to marketing development, 4% to contract balance. Referral reward system. Pit group or boosts uh, locks tokens out of circulation as a long term deflationary measure. See white paper. Piston race the ROI dashboard app for depositing your piston tokens in 1% daily. Max payout 365 of your deposited amount. Reinvest to maximize your APY. 5% direct referral reward system withdraw initial investments with a little asterisk star there uh, deposit fee 5% to upline round robin 5% to contract balance 10% to contract balance on the claim while money, many projects require you to permanently forfeit any deposits you have seven days from the start of your race to fully exit the protocol if you wish. See white paper for details. Right, so here we are. It looks like uh, that's today. And it's uh, six o'clock in the morning, GMT. So I presume it's the same time UTC. Get in touch with us or say hello, join the Telegram group, more white paper, my diamond team. Uh, check out the white paper. Transparency, deflationary tokenomics, whale resistant, affordable network. The basics. When a user deposits piston to add fuel to their gas tanks, they will receive <sighs> Sorry about that guys. When a user deposits piston to add fuel to their gas tanks, they will receive 1% daily returns up to 365% of the amount in the tank. The amount for this calculation includes new tokens deposited as well as tokens compounded using the nitro button so. how is this a race where the goal of real world race car drivers is to be the fastest around the track the goal of the piston user is to accelerate their earnings by the following making deposits of new piston receiving boosts from their pit crew Adding fuel using the nitro button to compound earnings. Pit crew, like a downline or network people, they are referred and their people referred by those people, etc. Boosts, a portion of the transaction fees of, of people in one's pit crew. Right. There is actually a lot to this piston token. Can I exit the race? Yes, well, many projects require you to permanently forfeit any deposits. You have seven days from the start of your race to fully exit the protocol if you wish. 
However, this will require you to forfeit any pending unclaimed rewards. Here's how exiting works. If the price of piston has gone down during the time you've been in piston, then upon exiting, you will receive the same number of piston that you have deposited, minus rewards and subject to tax. But the USD value of the base amount will have gone down along with the price of piston. If instead the price of piston has gone up during this time and deposits, then upon exiting, you receive fewer piston. Also, minus rewards received and subject to tax, but the base amount will have the same USD value as the sum of any piston deposits you've made up to that point, based on the price of piston at the time of deposit. So basically, if you go out early, uh, you're going to lose. So it's designed to keep you in. Right. Taxes. Taxes reduce volatility and are used to support referral networks and protocols within the MyDefi ecosystem. Buy no tax, exchange 10%. And it shows you how it's all broken down here. Deposit 10%, claim 10%. Sell 10%, exchange 10%, exit 10%. Yes, definitely designed to uh, keep most of the money in it. <laughs> to incentivize a consistent inflow value into the system, a distinction is made between new deposits and compounds. In direct rewards from one's downline, as follows, the total amount in the gas tank can never go higher than five times the amount of deposits into your gas tank. So, for example, you deposit 100 piston, then you compound daily using the nitro function until the amount in your tank is 500 piston. Your tank is now full. Your max payout at 1% per day is 1825 piston. Further compounding will be unavailable and boosts will not be received from the transaction fees of your pit crew. So it's designed to let you make a nice profit, but not an astronomical profit. To re-enable compounding and receiving rewards from your downline at this point, it will be necessary to make a new deposit of piston. This can be done in one of two ways. First claiming and then redepositing piston into the protocol which benefits the system through taxes. Making an entirely new purchase of piston and depositing it. And then it's gone down to uh, incentives. To incentivize bringing in new users through a network of referrals, piston can be used to access rewards from your downline pit crew to a maximum of 15 levels. There are two places where you can deposit piston in the piston site. Your gas tank, which enables you to receive 1% return on investment per day on the total amount, and the pit crew boost system. What is the benefit of depositing piston into the pit crew boost system? It allows you to receive boosts of piston from the nitro and deposit fees of users in your downline after your pit crew Pit crew boosts will go directly into your gas tank. Now, you get access to boosts from more levels of your downline depending on the USD value at the time of the deposit of the piston deposited there. Why base is on the USD value? Because we want everyone to be able to expand their network even when the value of piston increases. Using this approach, $100 worth of piston will allow you to receive boosts from direct referrals in your pit crew, whether one piston costs $10 or $500. We are particularly pleased with how this system keeps the benefit of network referrals affordable for everyone, even as the token price prices rise. How do these pit crew levels work? The first level consists of your direct referrals People who use your referral code to join the Piston project. The second level consists of people referred by your direct referrals. The third level consists of people referred by your second level. And so on, down to a maximum of 
15 levels. Incentives to gain access to a pit crew boost level by depositing the appropriate USD value for that level. While there is a separate USD amount listed for each level, the totals are cumulative. So you don't need to pay the $100 for level 1 and then $300 more for level 2. When the total USD value of your pit crew boost deposits add up to $300, you will have access to level 2. In other words, $100 for level 1 plus $200 more for level 2. When you gain access to a pit crew boost level, you'll be able to receive a percentage of the compounding and deposit fees accrued by that level of your pit crew in a round robin fashion. The user compounds every day and 3% of their daily return on investment goes to the people above them, round robin style. Right. Instead of being in line, imagine that they're in a circle. The rewards go to a different person each day and when it comes back to the giver, it skips a day. Okay, interesting. Once Piston has been deposited for accessing pit crew boost levels, there are only two ways it can be withdrawn. If the user reaches the maximum of 50,000 Piston, see whale resistance. If the user claims until they have received all of the max payout of 365%. By default, upon exiting, you will receive the same number of piston that you deposited. However, if the price of piston has gone up during the time you have been invested in the pit crew boost system, then upon exiting, you will receive fewer piston, but the base amount will have the same USD value as the sum of any piston deposit you made into the pit crew boost system, based on the price of piston at the time of deposit. Yes, getting a long video this. In order to retain access to the pit crew boost reward system, your account must have a positive net deposit value and DV. If the results of the following equation is positive, then you can receive pit crew boost rewards. If not, then those rewards will be forfeited. And DV equals deposits plus compounding plus airdrops minus claims. Note, in this equation, airdrops received are positive and airdrops sent are also positive. Deflationary measures. A limit is placed on the amount of rewards that can be earned through compounding, requiring new deposits to be made when the limit is reached. C, to incentivize a consistent inflow of value into the system above. The pit crew boost system serves a significant measure by locking up any tokens deposited into that system. These tokens are completely removed from circulation, effectively reducing supply. The longer a user stays in the race, the more their network can grow and the more downlines they can afford to access, which removes an ever increasing number of PIS tokens from circulation. For more info about the pit crew boost system, see to incentivize bringing in users through a network of referrals above. Whenever a piston is purchased on an exchange, 1% of piston amount is burned as part of the buy tax. Whenever piston is sold, whether through the piston size or an exchange, the sell tax includes a burn of 1% of the total amount. These deflationary measures are designed to be quite powerful, especially in combination. In the unlikely event that mincing of piston is ever needed, we will do so as required for the functioning of the protocol but only to the degree that is absolutely necessary. We pride ourselves on our approach to supporting the value of piston through carefully crafted tokenomics. Whale resistance. There's an upper limit of 50,000 piston, which can be distributed to a single account. When 50,000 piston have been distributed to a single account, all rewards will cease, including boosts associated pit crew and all piston deposited to access Pit crew boost levels may be withdrawn at this time. By the time a whale has reached the 50,000 piston limit, they are likely getting massive amounts in pit crew boosts. These will now be distributed among their pit crew, accelerating the progress of users spanning many levels below them. This also shortens the period of time during which a whale can accumulate enough piston to make large transactions that neg negatively affect the price. 
There's a dynamic whale tax depending on how the total amount claimed compares to the max payout of 50,000 piston. If the total amount claimed is less than 4,999 piston, the transaction will be subject to the standard 10% sell tax. Above that level, the tax claims will be as follows. So the amount of piston claimed as it rises, the uh, the tax rises. So that's a great uh, anti-whale feature. Uh, it's been really well uh, thought out this uh, project. Uh, I can see it being highly successful, but that's my opinion. You need to do your own research, uh, check everything out, decide whether it's for you and make your own decision. Airdrops, you can airdrop all of your direct referrals, level one of your pit crew at once. And a des designated amount will be distributed evenly among them. You can also airdrop any piston user if you have their wallet address or nickname. An airdrop will be deposited directly into the gas tank of the recipient. So guys, that's the uh, piston token, which is coming out imminently. So will you be getting in the race or will you be a non-runner? It's your decision. Nothing is financial advice. This is just for your research purposes. I do personally like the project. Uh, there's a lot of thought gone into the tokenomics and I, I think this deserves deserves to be a success. Uh, the team seems to be uh, genuinely trying to build something worthwhile. That's just my opinion. See you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.